مرحبًا يا شباب. Welcome to a brand new part of this tutorial series, CI/CD pipeline with GitHub Actions. Uh, this part will be a little bit shorter one because in this part we're just only going to install Docker and Docker Compose. So let's jump into it. First, of, co of course, we need to connect to our server, SSH again. So let me clear my screen again. But before we install any kind of software, um, I would always suggest to run an update first. So sudo apt update space minus y to say yes. Of course, it, it wants my sudo password, just copy paste it. So as you can see, it is running updates. Okay, that looks good. And I would suggest now, let's see if we can upgrade something. Just just type apt, so the apt upgrade. Yeah, there's actually something to upgrade. Let's say yes. Okay, it looks now we have restarted. Okay, now type. It looks now we are finished. We are up to date. Let's clear. By the way, type means okay, bil Arabi. So in Arabic, and let's install Docker. sudo apt install docker.io. Yeah. Let's say yes, we want to continue it. We, we want to install it and continue. Okay, it's finished. So let's start Docker sudo system ctl start Docker. Okay, now Docker should be started. Next thing is, uh, of course, whenever we uh, restart our machine, um, what we want it it that um, Docker also starts <coughs> whenever. Sorry, Anasif, I'm sorry. <coughs> um, so basically, what we want is that whenever we, our server restarts, that Docker restarts as well, like nginx and like our firewall. So let's say sudo system ctl enable docker. Okay, that went through. Now we can say we want to check the status. Just type after sudo system ctl status then space too much but it doesn't matter really type enter okay let, we can see docker is up and running it's active okay now to really check if docker got installed so uh, now let me just check something okay it got lines add okay okay I don't know, it got stuck right now, but it looks good. Okay. To check now, we want. Let's, okay, Docker is running. Okay, that's good. Like I said, um, now we want to check the Docker minus minus version. As you can see, our Docker version is 20.10.21. And here we see the build. Okay, that looks good right now. And now I think we can install Docker Compose. So, so up install Docker minus Compose. I will just explain in a sec why we are installing Docker and why we are installing Docker Compose. Just I'm not so good at multitasking, so I need to focus on the commands I'm typing. Now let's check the version. This is docker compose minus minus version. 
as you can see, this here is our Docker Compose version. And yeah, that's it for now. Okay. Why did we install now Docker? As you can remember, we will push uh, from our pipeline a Docker image onto Docker Hub. And then we will pull, uh, we will connect to our server instance and from our server instance, we will pull that image. And this pulling from this image will happen through Docker Compose. So basically we will need Docker Compose to pull the Docker image from Docker Hub. And with Docker Compose, we can um, also set up some other things. We can set up the server port, the environment variables, uh, how the container should be named and so on and so forth. And Docker Compose, a Docker Compose file can be used to uh, configure and handle multiple Docker containers. So later, later we will also um, add um, the web front end to the Docker Compose, but not in this tutorial series. In this tutorial series, we will just add the configuration for the backend API. And so, yeah, that, that's the reason. We need Docker to, to run the container and we need Docker Compose so that we can configure the Docker container and also run and restart it. And yeah, that's basically it. Now we have installed Docker and Docker Compose. And now after I think four parts we have right now, in the fifth part, we are finally going to start with the actual CI CD pipeline. We'll, we'll start with the Docker file. And I'm sorry that it took now so long, but I want to <clears throat> prep the, the server so that the CI CD process, continuous integration, continuous deployment process can run as smooth as possible. So catch me in the next video. Ila de Kaya Shabab.